Ready? Ready! It's morphin' time! Nuh uh Oh, we don't have Power Rangers costumes. If you couldn't guess, we're reviewing Power Rangers, finally. Because yeah. it came out a little while ago. Like we just now ago, saw it, though. I swear we weren't. We didn't just like release this review late because we're lazy asses. Even though we are. Um, uh, we didn't. We couldn't see it this weekend, which is also is the same reason we couldn't react to the Justice League trailer because we were out of town. So, anyway, there, yeah. This this Power Rangers was both our childhood. Okay, growing up, we watched Power Rangers. Obviously, we didn't, and, like, grow up with Mighty Morphin no, no. because we were born in literally 99, but, For um... For us, it was Dino Thunder. Dino, Dino Thunder, Thunder was the yeah. first Power Rangers But we series. did, see, yeah, see a lot. We saw it. We got, Di we got Dino Thunder, Ninja, Ninja Storm, Storm, friggin' Mystic Force. Mystic Force, man. Pretty much all the ones owned by Disney. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, I, didn't, um, I don't think I watched, ever got into RPM, though, but... But but the channel we watched it on, which a little bit doesn't of even Sam. exist anymore, it was a little bit Jetix. of Sam. Yeah, Jetix. They did reruns of Mighty Morphin as well, so we did watch some of that as well. And then I remember I went through a phase when I was like twelve, where I watched all of Mighty Morphin on Netflix. Yeah. Well, so I, I have seen I have seen the original series, which this movie is based on. So, that being said, okay, was yeah, was I was literally I was I was like, I hope I I'm pretty sure every Power Rangers fan was just literally like. Please be good. Please be good. Please yeah. be good. Power Rangers um, was more so, more so my childhood than Ninja Turtles was. So this movie was. I was like, please, please be good. Please, did this movie let you down here? No. 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 I enjoyed this quite a bit actually. I had a lot of fun with this movie. Me too. And you want to know? Really what glad the, to be saying that because yes. that's all I wanted from this movie and was to have fun. You want to know what I think this this was the best thing this movie had going for it? What's that? Cast. Most, That's true. More specifically, the four rangers. Five. Five. Five, five rangers. rangers. I keep thinking of, like, for some reason, whenever I think of the line in the trailer my, in my head, I keep thinking, you four are the power rangers. It's five. But yeah, I don't five. know why I think of that. Anyway, but, the rangers, um, the, all the actors that portray all, them. They're all really good, really likable. Really, they have really, great really chemistry yeah. um, with one another, which... Which I, is good, yeah. especially if this is going to be a franchise. You need your like, actors to have good yeah. chemistry. Interviews with the entire cast, like the main interviews with all of the Power Rangers, yeah, where they interviewed all the actors at the same time, um, honestly hyped me for this movie more than the trailers did. The trailers were like, I'm like, okay, it could be cool, but it could be awful too. It could be Transformers again. But I've, I've seen but, a couple of interviews. You can see, you, you have yeah, seen the chemistry you can between You can tell the that they, yeah, and they, they connected. And they have good chemistry, and it shows on screen, and they're all really good. I mean, some of them are flushed out a little bit more than others, but they all they all have something about them that you know humanizes them and gives their characters more depth. Mm -hmm. And there's and there's a lot of nice little character moments in here. It's more of a character driven movie, which is which is really surprising because it's a it's a power range movie, but it's mostly about the characters, you know. And you don't even get them in their suits till the third act. And to be honest, I'm, I'm actually fine with that because the actors did a really good job carrying this movie. I thought that would be a problem for me, but I actually really enjoyed it. I, I did enjoy this movie pretty much all the way through, but I do wish there was a little more Rangers, but I, I get, like, for the origin story, yeah, I'm glad is, that they went the, origin, the route they so. did. I'm glad that they decided to flesh out the characters a little more and make you care about them more. Because now yeah. we're invested in them, and now, for the sequel, they can go balls to the wall with the action. Mm -hmm. And you'll care when stuff happens. All right, and you do care about these these people, you know, and, they're, and it's because of the actors. They're all really good they're actors really too, good. and there are a lot of them are relatively new faces too. Uh, to, mm -hmm. And these these folks are people you want to watch out for because they're talented actors. And then of course you got some. Veterans. I would kill for a gig like this. Like mm -hmm. if I'm like just starting out, like college or whatever. If I'm if I hopefully start doing getting into like film stuff. Like if I got a call for like just like oh. You want to star in a Power Rangers movie? I'd be like, hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So, and then I'll, of course, you have veterans, veteran actors like Brian Cranston got Brian in here. Cranston. Um, you got uh, Bill Hader doing the voice of Alpha 5. He, he does a pretty good job. He's pretty good. I mean, I've heard yeah. some people say that he's still annoying, but I didn't find him that annoying. Yeah, I, didn't I mean, Alpha 5. I do agree the that. The original um, Alpha 5 has a more annoying voice. Yeah. And, like, I guess what some people are saying is that this new Alpha 5 won't win you over if you didn't like Alpha 5 to begin with, which I guess it won't, but I still don't think he was as annoying. I thought he was a little more likable. Mm -hmm. And, um, 
I still don't dig his design though, but his voice actor does a good enough job to where I don't mind it as much. And Zordon actually, I like his design even though he looks like one of those weird toy things. Yeah. He's but, not as um, frequently nice to the Rangers in this movie. No, the Zordon's got some baggage, mm, and yeah. it's pretty not cool to see, actually. Because, you know, Brian Cranston, you know, he, Walter White, of course, so... Yeah, I'm glad, I, I'm really, him. I was really surprised and happy that they, that they added some stuff to Zordon's character and actually gave him some depth more than just, like, a giant talking head that goes, Rangers! Rangers, it's time to defeat Rita, you know? Yeah, he's got, he, he has... Good. He has a scene where he's actually she has like an emotional sort of outburst, and it's actually really, really good. I was like, I was like, whoa, Zordon, Zordon, you're, you're dang, Zordon, peaceful floating head that's united the Rangers. Not like anyway, not spoiling anything. I'm glad that I'm, 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 I liked where they, what they did with this, how they changed up his backstory a little bit, how they kind of gave him more of a backstory. Not gonna get spoiled with here, Rita. but uh, yeah, and then let's get into. Rita, that's a good segue. Least favorite part of the movie, sadly. Elizabeth Banks, she's way, she gets, I mean, kind of takes you out of it a little bit. She's really over the top. They kind of go the horror route in the beginning with Rita, which yeah. is, which she's, is alright. She's like, she's like the, the girl from the ring. <laughs> she's like, well, I, don't, I don't, I don't mind, I didn't mind that. She didn't have too many lines, so you, you didn't really know that she mm -hmm. was going to be like a, as over the top as she was. Yeah. Um, she was pretty over the top, but it wasn't like, I, it, it, it didn't take me out as much as like other reviewers would ha would have yeah. had me think it was gonna take me out. But every but time she was on screen, I just wanted it to get back to the to the Rangers. Rick, yeah, because like, that's a good get back to the Rangers, which know? is good because at least you're not just like, oh, we should get back to the Rangers. Oh, but the Rangers suck too. No, they don't. They're they're, they're really like well, awesome. They're great. And um, the three standouts for the Rangers are the Blue Ranger, the Pink Ranger, and the Red Ranger. In my opinion, they're the most fleshed out of the entire movie. They're the first ones you get introduced to before you get introduced to the Black and the and the Yellow Ranger. And, yeah, you know. They played really well. And if you watch some interviews and listen to, like, the past of these actors, it's more specifically Dagger Montgomery, who plays the Red Ranger, I, I really appreciate his acting a lot more. Because I'm like, wow, he actually kind of had to act a bit for that. Because cause there are a lot of, like, actors that, like, um, like, Robert Downey Jr. were just like their cast as Iron Man and they basically, they already are that character so it's super easy for them, but um, with Dacre Montgomery, I mean he does have some of the qualities of the Red Ranger obviously, otherwise he wouldn't have gotten the part, but um, he doesn't have like all of the qualities like you would expect a, a red, an actor cast as a Red Ranger to have, but um, yeah, they all did really great. RJ, I guess it's Kyler, because I watched an interview, and they called him RJ Kyler, and he wasn't like, Soiler! <laughs> so, it is RJ Kyler. He was so great. He was hilarious. Yeah, he was and hilarious. He was very funny, and, you know, he's, he's really likable, and he, he just, you know, he, yeah. he was he was the most relatable character for me. Yeah, same. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> he's, he's kind of nerdy, of course, because he's Billy. Kind of nerdy, and he's like, I f I'm kind of like that more cautious type. Like, I'm not the person that, like, if you've seen the trailer, that is going to, like, jump over that huge gap. I'd be like, shit. Yeah, that's what he was like. <laughs> oh, you no. Know, that, that'd be me. But, uh, yeah, I, it was, he was good. And then Naomi Scott's Pink Ranger was really good as well. She, um, she has a, a um, you know, they're, they're all facing real, real problems high schoolers face at the beginning of the movie. You know, boys and just stuff like that and, and not trying to figure out who they are and then you know it's 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 just yeah so and uh, you know we're in high school life is we're in high school right now so you know we can you know relate to some of these things and uh, yeah it was really it was it was pretty real realistic for that and uh the so ranger was, action it was i wouldn't say it's perfect i wouldn't say like it's it's gonna blow you away but like it was it was solid for the most part and i some of like the fight moves they did i actually I, I liked them, and I kind of knew where they were from because I know a little bit about fighting stuff, like the types of martial arts, because I watch YouTube. I'm not a, like a expert at all, mm -hmm. but um, there was some there was some pretty cool moves in there, yeah. and um, they all kicked a little bit of ass. 
I, I, one thing I do want more in the next movie is, like, more ranger action, like, on the ground. Because I missed most of it because I was in the bathroom. It was there, really, it was, it was it was really quick. Brief, that proves yeah. how quick it was because I was in the bathroom for there's really one, There was, like, a good chunk of sword minute. action, but, no, like, there wasn't too much on the ground, which I would like yeah. to see more of because I'm a martial arts aficionado. Well, not really. I just really like um, hand-to-hand combat scenes. Um, the favorite types of fights. Don't watch Iron Fist because apparently the choreography is terrible. No, it's not terrible, guys. Come on. Anyway, it, it, it's not as good as Daredevil. Well, I'm not going to get into that right now. We might review it. I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys want us to review Iron Fist? Please let us know in the comments. I'm kind of I'm, I'm binging. Yet, I'm binging uh, Preacher right now because it's going to go. It's going to stop being on, on free in like yeah. a brief period of time. But anyways, um, yeah, this I was surprised at how much I enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed this movie probably more than Suicide Squad. But I probably cut Suicide Squad slack and gave it a higher of a rating than it probably deserved. Mm -hmm. But uh, this movie, I doubt my rating's going to change because I really, I, I did enjoy it. I'm not in denial or anything like that. The, all, the main cast was re really great. Uh, Elizabeth Banks was a little over the top, but it wasn't like anything movie-breaking. And she can obviously tweak her performance in the future. Mm -hmm. And If she it, does come back. Which, we'll you know, see. she's Rita, so she probably, yeah, probably will. will. But, um, and then, um, I, uh, and, or they could do, like, a different villain, which mm. would also be fine. Or they could bring back Rita and introduce a different villain, which is what I probably, that, that's my best guess as to what's going to happen. But, yeah. um, they all did a good job. Standouts were definitely the, uh, Pink Ranger, Red, and Blue, but the other two, uh, uh Ludi Lin and uh, Becky G also did good jobs yeah, as they well. They, they all had little character moments where you learn more about their past, and it was, they all did them really well. It's, it's, there's, so there's some emotion, there's some drama in there, you know, and it... And it, for the most part, it works. Yeah, and it works. Especially you, you the believe. part with Zordon that I keep bringing up, it's like... Just wait for that moment. It's it's really good. You just you'll be surprised, honestly. Like I was I'm like, whoa, Zordon, jeez. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, it really solid movie. Honestly, I'm gonna go. I mean, I don't want to like hype total hype up a Power Ranger movie, but I honestly, you know, I'll go seven point eight. And you know, so I like okay. So there's some tributes in here f for for a long time Power Rangers fans like us, and it's really nice to see those things. And yeah, I, yeah. I was like, uh, you know, and um, just seeing them in their suits. If you're wonder was just like this is probably like this isn't gonna this isn't a spoiler because this will probably want you, make you want to see the movie more than anything else. I'm not gonna tell you when it happened, but a certain song you may recognize does in fact play during this movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like. And then and then there's the scene where they they morph, you know. You saw it in the trailer, but it still made me go, yes. <laughs> and he goes, it's morphin' time. And I was like, oh, you had to say the whole time, bro. And I was like, yeah, it is morphin'. And uh, just I I yeah, you know, brought me back to my childhood days, and I had got a bit nostalgic in some parts. So it was it was cool. There's, there's an after credit stinger. There's an after credit stinger. stinger. That's awesome. And then yeah, um, it's mid credits. You don't need to wait through the entire credits. Yeah. And then one more thing. Uh, just just gonna say Krispy Kreme donuts. You'll understand if you saw the movie. And that was that was a little weird, but you know it was it was kind of it was it was kind of funny. And uh, it was kind of yeah. Anyway, so with that being said, uh, I'm gonna also give it a uh, seven point eight out of ten. Yeah, I was so, gonna say eight, but like that might be a little high for a Power Ranger movie. I but did. I did. I, I got a lot of enjoyment. I think, yeah, I, think I gave Suicide Squad an eight. Probably doesn't deserve any. Now that I think about it, I, I did see it a second time, and I didn't. I, I saw problems with it, and I didn't enjoy it as much as the first time. Granted, I don't. Hate it as much as other people still, but I think Power Rangers is better, so I'm just gonna say that right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Um, and yeah, this movie is already like this is how you adapt a kids show. This is how. Take, Not take notes, Michael Bay. Yeah, take that Bay. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, this movie is yeah, it's already better than Transformers and Ninja Turtles combined. To be honest. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, solid movie, surprisingly enjoyable. Go check it out, especially if you're a Power Rangers fan. If you're a Ranger fan, fan, you will love it. I don't, know, I don't know if it's for everyone, you know, maybe not, you know, maybe people who, I don't know, wanted more action or wanted, I don't know. But it's not, it, it's it's probably not for everyone, but... Yeah, non-Ranger fans probably won't dig it as much, but if you're a Power Rangers fan, you're, you're definitely, definitely going to get some to go enjoyment see out it of it. If you're a Power Rangers fan, highly recommend if you're a Power Rangers fan. And, and I think if the sequel kind of perfects the formula that they got going here, I really think the sequel has the potential to be... Pretty damn good. Yeah. Alright, guys. 
well, thanks for watching. Go out and see Power Rangers if you haven't seen it. You probably already have because it's, it's been out for a while. But, uh, yeah. Um, let us know in the comments if and you want yeah, to see We will it. discuss the Justice League trailer, and we may discuss some other trailers. But anyways, that was our review of Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers. Go see it if you're a Power Rangers fan, guys. Morphin' <laughs> It's Morphin' It's Morphin' Hold on, let me go off camera and morph. I'm in my Power Rangers suit. Whoa, man, how'd you do yeah, that? I know, it's so dope, isn't it? It's yeah. It's so dope that I'm not gonna show it to the camera. You know, the Power Rangers suit. No, no, <laughs> I, I morphed out, I morphed out. Sure, alright. See you guys, man.